Hey guys, welcome back to another video of U-Boat. Today, I will be showing you how to plot a course uh, in tandem with an enemy ship or convoy. Uh, just to show you how I go about trying to play the game as realistically as possible. Um, I'll just be plotting a course with relative bearing and distance over a period of time just to see a ship's course movement. And then how you can go from there to transition into an intercept or maybe transition into getting closer to said ship so you can actually get a more of a better bearing or speed. Um, and I might add in like a little graph of what that looks like um, from the realistic point of view. Um, but just hopefully this kind of helps some of those who are interested in this kind of thing or playing, adding a little realism to the game or people who just want to watch and see how it's done. So right now, I'm going to start getting the relative distance of this ship in the convoy using the statimeter and recording its bearing in my um, Uzo and plotting that on a notepad I have next to me. And I'll do that over a course of five minutes between each measurement, maybe four or five times. And you'll see that translate to the map tools on the graph when I start to plot the points. Um, you can either, if you want to just watch this and see how I do it, you can watch me um, go through this process, or you can just fast forward past it either way. Um, I'm hoping the quality is good because at night, a lot of times YouTube's compression just makes this horrible to see. And if anyone's having trouble seeing how this is done, just let me know and I'll try and uh, do the second attack during the day so you um, can have a better understanding of what's going on.
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Schneller, schneller! And I also started using um, a mod that gets rid of map icons <coughs> to add to the realism of the game. Um, so as you can see, you won't see, there aren't any icons on the map at all. Um, and this adds to make the game a little bit more uh, difficult. Um, so if I can't see these ships, if I mess up on my plotting, then I, in, uh, I won't actually find them. Um, so it's a cool little mod. If, you want, if you're interested in knowing what it is, I can let you know. But I find that it helps the game become a bit more uh, Silent Hunter-esque. Um, so just if you wanted to know. So if everything went smoothly with my plotting, I should be ahead of the convoy uh, based on the distance between the plotted course and my own course. I set a point in between those two paths where I should be within three kilometers of the convoy um, under my max range of five kilometers if I want to fire torpedoes. I will show you later in the video how you could plot points on your um, map to take into account the distance and the time between each bearing that you received for the ship and use that to plot how much time it would take you to reach that point between your path of travel and the convoy's path of travel and to get a time it would take you to get there and be within three to four kilometers. Um, but before I do that I'm going to go down into my boat make sure my torpedoes are warmed up as I wait for the convoy. So what you'll see me do now is I'm going to record the distance between each interval or bearing that I took. And you'll see that each bearing, um, they kind of got rid of, I can't quite tell, but between each bearing it's about a kilometer. And I know that I took these measurements in increments of five minutes. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line uh, in intervals of one kilometer from my last point to the point in which I would uh, project to be within three to four kilometers between the convoy's predicted path and my course. Realistically, you know, this is all, if the convoy doesn't move or shift, you know, this should be where it would be. 
So, after plotting my increments, I will count each one, obviously, in intervals of five minutes. So, first point is five minutes, second point is ten minutes, third point is fifteen, all the way to my final point, which I believe is forty minutes. So, what I know is that within forty minutes of travel on my same speed, I should be at a point where I'm within three to four kilometers of the convoy in, as I mentioned, forty minutes. And that's if you really just want to be as realistic as possible um this could be right or wrong depending on how you look at it um, but this is how i also did it in silent hunter and i got really good results from it um, so that's just if you want to play in the same manner And there we go. We got eyes on the convoy, and they're actually still on the same path that we projected based on the course. So, uh, it's not too far off. And from what I can see, based on when it reaches the point that I have indicated, it will actually be within three to four kilometers of my ship. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 1, bewässert! Uh, normally, I would take this course that I have to get closer to the ships and use that time to actually track the convoy even further to get a speed um, relative not to my own ship. But since I did not do that, I'm going to resort, resort to using the, the chronometer, which I don't really care for too much in this game as opposed to the Silent Hunter one. But it, it'll do just to get a quick reading of the speed. Um, based on when I was traveling the convoy earlier, I know the ships were moving between 5 and 10 knots. So, as you can see, once I get this reading, it's actually going to be 7, so it's relatively close.
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs setzen. Schneller, schneller! Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. Wechseln auf dem Motor. I hope you guys can see this well. I know that once this gets uploaded to YouTube and it's really dark, it's not going to be a good picture. So I try to increase the gamma a bit. Um, but like I said, if it's unclear, please let me know. And I'll make sure I do the second attack during the day so we can so you can get a better view of what's going on.
zwei bewässern. Los! Rot zwei bewässern. Rot zwei fertig. Los! Rot drei bewässern. Bewässert. Bewässern! Rohr 4, fertig! Los! I kind of wanted to channel my inner DOS boot here. So after I filed the torpedoes, I changed course, dove, um, changed depth. And I ran to the bow of the ship to listen for the impacts, which I thought would be pretty cool for a change, um, especially since the convoy did have escorts. Uh, so I go down to the bow of the ship and I just listen. You may be able to hear the impacts, but it's actually really cool. Uh, you kind of can, and you can hear the ships breaking. It's uh, it's a really interesting um, feature. I don't know if it was always there, but it's definitely pretty cool. Um, yeah. 20 Meter. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can upload the next video and have it be a little bit better to see. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. I hope I showed a little something new.